everybody! Following on from the last video about uh, what's the difference between the internet and the World Wide Web, some of you might be sitting there thinking, oh gee, well that's easy. It is. You are completely correct with one proviso, because there's one thing we didn't mention. Um, I said that the internet runs on HTML, and that is actually quite correct, but there is another language as well lurking in the background, which also works, and that is X. ML. Now this is a bit newer, HTML, that kicked off in 1990, Tim Berners-Lee, thank you for that one. XML, a little bit later, but only like, you know, 1998. So XML is slightly different because in XML, the person writing the program gets to decide what the tags mean. And as long as the person who wrote the XML explains to the browser what they meant when they said what they said, that will also work on your web browser. So HTML has a limited number of tags. That's very useful because it means that once you've learned them, you've learned them, you're done. Fantastic. You never have to worry about it again. Every time you see H1, it's always going to mean heading. Every time you see P, it's always going to mean paragraph. Um, just never going to change. Browsers are all going to agree on that. With HTML, sorry, with XML, this is a something for a different day. It's just something to be aware that it exists. You don't need to know how it works at this point. Uh, not, not really at all. But with XML, you can make up your own. You can say that this one, I'm going to invent an entire tag called baby name and then I'm going to say that the baby name is Jamie because that is the baby name and then I'm going to close it because we always close our tags and as long as I have used there we go. Oh, as long as I have used um, a special way that the browser understands, I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's a little more complex than we require for today. As long as I've told the browser how to interpret what to do when it sees the, sees the tag baby name, it's going to be fine. Um, so that's something, if you're walking around the internet, you're having a bit of a click, remember right click on any web page, down to view source, you can see what's going on in there. If you're looking around at a web page and going, hang on, hang on, hang on, that's, that's some type of tag that I've never seen before. What's that doing there? I thought there was only supposed to be a set list of tags. Ah, freaking out. Don't worry about it. That's just XML. It's um, a really good, powerful and useful thing to learn, uh, but it is something that is more useful to learn later rather than sooner. So, there you go.